I'm gonna be analyzing Classroom of Elite Year 2 Volume 9 and how it will affect the series moving forward. Now this video will obviously contain spoilers for Year 2 Volume 9, so if you haven't read the book yet, I suggest you go read that first. But I know some people aren't bothered to read the whole series, so if so, just please continue watching. Now I'll be talking about these four points and the significance it will bring to the future developments. As there was little new information to work with, my analysis will focus on the evolution of character relationship and the impact it will bring to future developments moving forward. Now a shoplifting incident involving Kiryuing Senpai breaks out. I was surprised about what was going on when the sudden reasoning of this incident began, though I didn't expect that it would eventually lead back to them trying to make Ichinose withdraw from the student council elections. Although in the end the truth was that Kiriyama, vice president of the student council, was a main culprit in this case and that he started this incident to stop Nagumo from using the massive amounts of points he has for his own personal gains. Now but from previous volumes, I did expect that the student council election between Ichinose and Horikita would have a role in the battle between Nagumo and Aino Koji. But this prediction was easily exceeded. I thought that using the election as a proxy battle to settle things with Nagumo was not ideal, so I expected a confrontation between Nagumo and Aino Koji. Although, as a new consequence of this shoplifting incident, Nagumo can no longer use his points freely, reducing the likelihood of a confrontation between Nagumo and Aino Koji. And this erases possibility of Aino Koji obtaining class points from Nagumo to transfer classes. Now, Nagumo seems to have given up on the battle with Aina Koji, and Aina Koji is not particularly keen to have battle with Nagumo as well. So the battle with Nagumo just may just end up going nowhere if things continue how they are. Although I don't think that the battle between Nagumo would just end here. This is a bit of a prediction, but since Nagumo's character has been explored deeply, it would be a bit of a shame if the story ended up with him just simply graduating without anything happening. Now Nagumo has been portrayed in various ways, so I don't think there will be a large scale event where he fights Nagumo for an entire volume or anything like that, although I think they might have a one-on-one -on -one battle with each other before he graduates just on a smaller scale. I think that would be the best way to go for Nagumo to feel satisfied with his graduation, even though he just loses to Aino Koji at the end. Now I think the theory of Aino Koji moving to Ichinose's class is still very very strong and there has been significant increase in interference with Ichinose's class as well. And Aino Koji is still controlling and bringing up various changes to the students in Ichinose's class. So it seems like it would only make sense for Aino Koji to move to Ichinose's class. However, the problem is how to prepare the points for Aino Koji to move classes. I thought that Nagumo would provide the points for class transfer but due to the recent shoplifting incident, that has become difficult or even impossible at this point. Although so if Nagumo has his private points separate from the one he has saved for the school year, that could be a way out for Aino Koji. However, if this is not an option, then the class transfer ticket is the most likely way to go. Since they already introduced the class transfer ticket, it would be logical for the story to use it at some point. It could be a prize for the end of the exams or even a special exam. I also reread the volume when the class transfer ticket was issued, though it was unclear if the class transfer ticket can be transferred to someone else, as there was no explanation about it when the ticket was introduced. Although let's say it is possible to transfer the ticket, then there are various ways for Aino Koji to obtain it, such as by acquiring it to someone else in Ichinose's class, as he is controlling and influencing the Ichinose's class students very effectively. Or he could also win it as a prize by himself. Or maybe the losing class in the end of the exams could get a chance to headhunt one person from the winning class as a prize, or Aino Koji could be headhunted by someone else. And the reason I say headhunting is because Classroom of the Elite likes to include social aspects in the real world in their exams, and headhunting is a way for other classes to pick a skilled student or student they like as a prize. Now overall, there are many possibilities for how Aino Koji could transfer classes, and the theory for Aino Koji moving to Ichinose's class is still a strong possibility. Now this time, Ichinose has fallen into darkness and become a concerning rival to the leaders of other classes. Now let me explain why she fell into darkness and awakened like this. Now Ichinose was originally a character with a straightforward and honest personality who couldn't hurt others. So she was a good at maintaining the class but couldn't deal with people like Yuen and Sakayanagi. However, through her love for Aino Koji, Ichinose's character underwent a dangerous change. Now Ichinose has become willing to engage in a love affair to win Aino Koji's heart. Which 
which is essentially taking someone away from another person, which can be compared to theft and shoplifting in a way. Now in middle school, Isnosa committed shoplifting, which was a heavy burden for her and also one of the reasons she decided to quit the student council. But this time, with the decision to pursue a love affair, the burden on that part has faded and the stopper of hers has been released. Of course, this is not just a matter of romance, but also means that Ichinose's range of actions as a class leader has expanded. In other words, Ichinose has become a flexible leader who can choose not only to fight fairly, but also in other ways such as dirty tactics like Duen. This is why Duen sees her as a threat and why he was relieved to not fight Ichinose in the upcoming exams. He was concerned about this because if our enemy who has been fighting fairly and straightforward for a year suddenly starts using dirty tactics, it will be quite tough to deal with as her actions will be unpredictable. Another thing that stands out is the discussion in volume 11.5 about Ainokoji's interpretation of Ichinose. A lot of people tend to forget that this was a scene in volume 11.5, how Ainokoji will assist Ichinose if she has a downfall a year later, which is referring to this year in year 2. Therefore, whether Ichinose will fall from grace in this second year now is a major point, and whether Ainokoji will give up on a choice will be important as well. However, if Ichinose begins to use the class for her personal gains based on her love for Ainokoji, Ainokoji may just discard her, and if Ichinose falls as a leader, there's also the possibility that Ainokoji will take over class B as a whole. Ainokoji is advising people like Kanzaki and is already effectively controlling Ichinose's class. However, this time, helpful characters like Hamaguchi have joined the Kanzaki group, and Ichinose's class is also growing, so the answer remains to be seen what Ainokoji would do in this situation. Now during the volume, Class A Hashimoto talked about realist and romantis. This story is considered to be material for predicting future development. Hashimoto talked about how it would be interesting from a narrative point of view to have a three-way battle between Sakanagi, Horikita, and Yuen, with Sakanagi reeling in the second half and Sakanagi losing, based on his romantic perspective. The point here is that Ichinose class is no longer in his mind and he's only thinking about the battle between the three classes. In other words, from a metafictional perspective about it, there is no longer going to be a three-way battle. A professional writer can't use the same development that the the character in the work has already been told to use. So, the story will be as Hashimoto predicted if Ichinose class is not revived and all four classes are in the same sort of class point situation. And here's what the class points look like at the end of this volume, with Horikita class beating Sakanagi class and Ichinose class beating Ryuen class. Looking at it this way, there is quite a difference in points between Ichinose class and Ryuen class compared to the higher classes. This brings us to the question of the matchup cards for the end of year examinations. The first card will be Sakanagi class versus Ryuen class, but here I would like to assume that Duen will win. If Duen loses, there is practically nothing we can do about it, so the victory is a must. And as for Ichinose class versus Horikita class, here, assuming Ichinose class wins, something interesting could happen. The later special exam saw the battle between classes, and there was a 50 point class point transfer from the loser to the winner. However, I think there is a chance that the end of the exam could also be in the form of class point transfer, as it could be a one on one battle between classes. If Duen and Ichinose class wins, if a little more than 100 points are handled over this time, the point change will be something like this. Well, looking at this alone, it seems that they are pretty much side by side. Furthermore, if 200 points are transferred, it will look like this. You can see that they are now almost side by side. So if you want to start the year 3 arc with all the classes class points having no significant differences from each other, this is how much of a point change has to happen. But I don't think it's realistic to expect 200 point change in one exam, but I think there's a possibility of a 50 point change. However, one problem with 4-way battle is that the basis of Ayanokoji's theory of class transfer will be weakened. It is thought that Ayanokoji will need to move classes to experiment with his educational theory. There are currently four classes, but there's not much point for him going to class A, which is completely dominated by Sakanagi, and going to Duen class is not quite right. For Ayanokoji, the weakest class, Ichinose class is ideal as it is the easiest place to effectively test his educational theories. However, if Ichinose class is revived and it becomes a four-way battle, the need for Ayanokoji to move classes will be weakened. This is because if Ichinose class can be rebuilt, it will be no problem even if Ainokoji does not move classes and remains in Horikita class. In other words, if Ainokoji moves to a new class, it would be more convenient overall if Ichinose class loses in the end of the examinations.
Assuming that points are handled over and we organize the rankings in the case where Yuen class wins and Horita class wins, Horita class will move up to class A and Isunose class will be the, in the bottom of the rankings. And this looks like a well balanced situation and seems likely. My prediction is that if Anokoji moves to a different class, Horita's class will have to move up to A class. Of course, we still don't know what the point related rules of the end of the examinations will be, so this is only within the scope of my prediction. But a change in points is likely. It might be a convenient development for Anokoji to be moved to the Ichinose class, which is rattled by the fact that Ichinose class is by far the lowest ranked and Ichinose is in the stakes of getting expelled from school. Considering Hashimoto's statement, it will be interesting to see a development where Ayanokoji moves to a new class and breaks through the three way battle of Sakanagi, Horikita, and Nuen all at once, dominating his whole year. The contents of the end of the examinations have not yet been revealed, but from the conversation with Ichinose a year ago, this kind of prediction is quite possible. I'm very much looking forward to seeing how Ayanokoji will ultimately conclude the story. Now, this was my analysis for Classroom of the Elite Year 2 Volume 9. There wasn't that much new information, but there was a significant development in terms of character relationships, and I'm quite excited to see how things will turn out, especially around the heroine battle. Now, this was my first video, so if you liked it and want me to upload any particular analysis video on a different series or character, please let me know in the comments.